Hello everybody and welcome back to No Place Like Home where I'm actually going to go straight over to Jay today and I want to go and see what it's going to take for me to upgrade the animal pens because I think what I should have been doing the whole time is upgrading the animal pens rather than making loads of new ones so I think if we go and see Jay about that she might have something to say about that. So I'm trying to think where's the best place to go here, I think. Frozen Woods. I think it's six or one half a dozen of the other, how far you have to go for each one of them, so... Let's just run. The Frozen Woods are looking much nicer now. I could plant a few trees along here. I don't know. I, I don't think you're ever going to make it look nice with the stumps removed. The stumps are always going to be there, unfortunately. So, I'm just going to have a quick look in her shop. And I want to know what's going to take to upgrade the, the cow shed. I have enough stuff to upgrade it. Lovely. Beautiful. So, what is it going to take to upgrade it again? Watermelons. Right. I have two out of three of those. Oh, also, what's it going to take to get that loom? Have enough of uh, enough stuff for that lovely so what's it going to take for the bird feeder peaches ah oh, super cheese house watermelon so it's watermelon and peaches need to come back over here then okay good to know so let's do the first cow shed upgrade. Let's have a look at my watermelons. Are they done yet? How, how are they coming along? They are! Oh yes! And this is where the berry picker's gloves will come in handy. I need loads of these. I need them for like basically everything right now. Do I have watermelons these just hanging around in my inventory? Yes I do. That's another eight done. So I've got six watermelons. So I could definitely go back to Jay. Oh, get some peaches as well. I probably have them. If I don't have them in my chest, I can just pop down to the village and get some. But I do have them in my chest. Right, so what I need now is uh, some more preserves as well. So let's just preserve up some of the... Preserve up some of the jams. When's the last time I had a strawberry harvest? I also need to get some more milk. Oh, uh, we've got a giant strawberry harvest. Okay, let's just turn all of this into jams and then turn them all into preserves. And I need something like 36 new seeds or something. I don't know how many strawberry seeds I have right now. I do need to do like a replant of this and just I think a couple more harvests of this will be enough preserves for me probably to get like everything I need I honestly I might even already have every, enough but that's that all harvested out let's see I've got 39 strawberry seeds there have a lot of strawberries Full thing of watermelons, some cranberries. Okay, that will do. Let's just get these started. So that has eight at a time in it, so that's why that one's a, a better jam maker. I'm just gonna slowly go through and make jam out of everything. Uh, also going to while I'm here, fill up all the recyclers. Because I can. Then... 
I do need to replant loads of stuff, but I'm I'm always like I can't be bothered going getting the seeds and going back and forth and blah, 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 blah. maybe I'll do it between episodes or something. Grab all the honeys. Because they cost me nothing to do. Again. Mm -hmm. Those two are nearly done. But yeah, that should be enough. To, once they're done, I think that'll be enough to get me a good amount. Uh, right, so in the meantime, while we're waiting, let's make the first cow shed upgrade. And then I'll go and get the second one. I don't know what I need for it. It might be it might be waste that I don't have. I don't know. And I need to check whether the pigs start, the pigs have got their upgrades. So so if I, I can fit ten pigs in rather than fifteen, then I know I haven't done the third upgrade. So this is how I'm gonna work things out. Um, right. So let's upgrade your thing. Tell me at the front of it how many I can have. So that is what that's the front of the pig site. I'm allowed to have 15 pigs in here. But really that should be rotated. I don't think that I want to rotate it really. Um, as much as it's a really cute front to it, uh, I don't really want to have to like rename all the pigs. Which I imagine will be something I'd have to do if I took away all of their stuff. I mean, I could write down what their names are and rename them, I guess. But that is a bit of a pain, though it's backwards. Don't like that. But I can get rid of these now. So I could get rid, uh, once that's all upgraded, I could get rid of the that sheep pen and put all the sheep in there. So while that's happening, I'm going to head back over to the... to the J. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go and pick up... Uh, actually, do I have... I've got more milk as well, so let's put that into the cheese maker. And I've actually slightly changed my mind on what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go back to the frozen peaks. We're going to go and find our little buddy. Now he was about there, I think? Winter Railway? Yeah. He was right by the railway, wasn't he? So we're going to go to the railway and we're going to find him. I could also give another watermelon piece to, to Lily while I'm up here. And there is also like, oh no, I've gone straight past where I need to be. There's also a, a place that I didn't clean out up here. Then we're gonna go straight across to Jay. And I'm going to get the, uh, well actually I might go back home first and grab the cheese. And I'll get all the bits and pieces I can off of her loom and all that sort of thing. I'm sure he was up here. Hello, he's sleeping. You sleeping. Oh no. You want garlic? <sighs> Dumb raccoon. I thought you ate anything, not like go fussy. Being all fussy and wanting garlic. I'll take a couple. Alright then. Let's go back. I got it for you now, okay? Poor little dude, he was having a little nap up there. I feel all sorry for him. It's like, sometimes, um... Like, Tilly will... Oh, she did it more in our old house. She, she's more, like, comfy now. And she goes on beds and sofas, mostly. She's just sort of like, 
curl up on the corner of, of the stairs where the stair turned around. And I was like, well, why are you sleeping on the floor? You look, you look like some little, some little abused animal that doesn't have a comfy face to sleep. And uh, so we're going to need a, a name for you as well, aren't we? You're going to need all the names. And uh, so, yeah, I... <laughs> Aries sometimes does the same thing. He'll sometimes just sleep on the floor of his cage when he's got all these lovely hammocks and all these lovely little sort of bunched up um, sort of nests of blankets that he can sleep in. No, he just he's like, no, I'm I'm just gonna sleep on the floor. I'm like, dude, <laughs> what are you doing? You got comfy places to sleep. But uh, it's okay. It's fine. Right, so one thing that I didn't do up here... I don't know whether it's worth actually even bothering to go and see Lily. I didn't clean this house out. Oh no, apparently I did. Okay. So... Maybe the person that commented that, I went back and did it after they commented. Probably the case. Missing dirt up there though. Did I, do I definitely did the other house. So I feel like I'm good over here. So let's go straight back down to the uh, entrance to the frozen peaks. And let's go and see Jay and see what I can get. I'm probably short a bit of cheese to be fair. But I can definitely get that to uh, I've got enough watermelon to get the upgrade on the, the cow shed. And by the time I've done this, the first upgrade should be done. Okay, so the upgraded, upgraded cow shed. Then uh, the bird feeder upgrade. Although I do actually already have some really advanced uh, bird feeders because I got them for doing the quests. And that one's just oranges, which I have. Uh, the cheese house upgrade. I need a little bit more preserves for that. So I'll probably bring up some cranberries and things like that as well. But we can at least get those cow sheds done. And I think we're, we're getting really close to having a lot of stuff done honestly but we've got all of those strawberries that I'm gonna just slowly turn into preserves and then chuck into the preservers so this time let's use the map and go back to grandpa's farm that way and then we'll do a bit more in the desert maybe <laughs> where we're actually meant to be but I'm hoping that I'll be able to put the goats straight into the upgraded goat pen and then we'll be able to name them all once they're all in their proper pen And I could get so many more pigs as well. I feel like... I feel like I could just turn this around though. Ugh, it's so annoying. It's really irritating me. Now I know it's the wrong way around. It's really, really irritating me. So what I'm going to do... I know this is annoying. I'm going to get my no place like home... Uh, thing out, my, my my word file, which I use, and I'm going to write down all the names. So we've got Lolly. Otherwise I'll forget who I've named what. Lolly Lazy. Lolly Lazy Hopsqueak. Ah, let me tab out. It's going to annoy me too much otherwise. Ixius. Who's the last one then? Ah. Lazy. Ixius. Hop squeak. Random pig in the wall. Dita. Ah, okay. 
I've got all their names written down so I don't forget. And I'm going to... And I hope I don't lose all their hats. In fact, I should take off all their hats as well before I do this. Because there's some good hats that I don't want to lose. I think this is worth it. Okay, that's all their hats off. <laughs> now I can take this up and, and realign it. Uh, I'm going to take their picnic blanket up as well, just so I've got more room to play with. Let me remove it, please. So we've got a supreme pigsty there. They are all going to get in the way, hugely, no doubt. That really bugs me, but never mind. So what I think I'll do, is I'm going to remove the cow shed over here. And also this cow shed. And then I'm going to take the sheep and put them in with the uh, cows over there. Don't tell me theirs is the wrong way around as well, though. I have no idea what's the actual front of this. I'm almost certain that's the wrong way around, too. Ugh. Oh no, I hate this. It's horrible. Oof. Right, so where's my supreme pigsty gone? There. They're going to be a nightmare to put back down. But I just can't, like, leave it like that, you know? Uh, those guys... Yeah, you're going to have to all be befriended. Just so that I can... <laughs> Maybe put the pigsty down there or something. Go on, go over to your place, please. Get out the way. I'm gonna bef... Oh, I need a potato to befriend that chicken. That chicken's driving me nuts. It's in the... And I've got enough room for more chickens. So let's go get a potato and get him out of the way. He's honestly driving me mad because he's in the way of all my placements. But yeah, I didn't really realise things had like a way round in that way. Go on, go to your chicken house then. Yeah, that's right, off you go. So now I have an actual chance of putting this pigsty down in a proper place. Which... There, lovely. Right, let's get you guys all properly befriended and named. And you can have ten buddies with you as well. Although I don't think I'm going to give them ten buddies, but doesn't that look so much nicer than what we had before? It does indeed. Right, so now I'm going to make the... I'm going to need, uh, need to rename them all, so. Oh no, they kept their names, I think. They did. Oh, that's wonderful. Okay, I feel a lot better now about uh, now removing. I actually think I'm going to remove the um, Cubot Lodge and the Cow Place.
I'm going to befriend that chicken as well, so he can move out of the way. Okay, it's going to be really hard to put the cube lodge back down. Upgraded cow shed here, and that yeah, that's definitely got like a way round because basically where it's showing zero of ten, that's where the cows should be. Okay, right. So let's get all the cows and sheep now befriended again, and then we can get them named. Sorry, this is taking so so blinking long, but to be fair, we're gonna have a lovely. We've got a lovely sort of. Uh, pig, pig pen. We're going to have a lovely cow pen. Just got to get all these guys befriended and renamed. I don't think they need renaming anymore though. I, I, I took the hats because I was just a bit worried, honestly. Oh yeah. Uh, once they're out of the way, I'll put the Q-Bot Lodge down. Okay, they, you two need to get over there. Get in your space. I might still be able to put the cute bot lodge down. I don't know. We'll see. They feel like they're kind of cool, like that way around. But no, I am going to put it like that way around once these guys have moved. Go on. Oh, I think I think they're going. They're trying to. And I've got this lovely. No, there they go. Lovely, nice one, Christian. Okay. Able to sort of E to rotate left. Oh, yeah. I think that'll do. So we've got a lovely Cubot Lodge for them to live in. We've got a lovely big old pigsty, and we've got the cow shed over there, which will be upgraded very soon. So that's definitely a lot, a lot nicer with the upgrades rather than having like hundreds and hundreds of different spaces so the next thing that i want to do is to make the upgraded cow shed and then that whole area is going to look just like it'll be perfect then won't it so upgraded cow shed upgraded upgraded cow shed And then I'm pretty much waiting for, I, th I think it's watermelon, olive, and watermelon, olive, and cranberry to give to the lily. And then I th hopefully that will finish her quest. If it doesn't, then I'm not really sure what to do. Hopefully that won't turn everything around. Um, Cubots, go back in your little place. Okay. I need to name the sheep, but the, some of them are kind of stuck inside places. It doesn't look like I'm able to actually... Oh, I can befriend you. Okay, that's fine. It doesn't look like I'm actually able to interact with the cows and sheep while this is upgrading, so I will need to come back and name the sheep later. That is fine. I don't know why you would need 15 pigs. It's never You've never needed that many um, 
truffles before. A one guy that can have a name is this little raccoon. I think you're going to be called Hallows Eve. Allowed a space? No, that's fine. Hallows Eve. You guys can all have hats too, I think. I don't know if you know. there's no hats that can go on them though. I should take all the hats and, and do hats for everyone. But I'm not going to, I'm going to go, uh, those are the two things I wanted to do at the, at the beginning of the episode. And they've, they've taken half the episode, but I do feel like we've got much nicer, uh, like, much nicer animal area now because of the way I've done things. I think doing the upgrades instead is a much nicer way. Doing everything, so we're going to go back to the desert and I'm going to just carry on doing a little bit of, uh, tidying up and everything around here. Trying to find all the pipes. Like I said, I don't know what's up with that big hole in the ground there because I'm not seeing a pipe that leads to it. But I'm going to go through the door because we finished everything up here. Last episode, I think it was. Arid plain. So this is the one we're going to start on today. We're going to actually... I'm trying to sort of clear an area and get as many upgrades as possible. Kind of try and do quests on the way. And just uh, generally, I, I feel like I'm kind of getting to the point where I'm tidying everything up. Um, and like I say, if I get some nice recipes, I don't know where some of the recipes actually are because I feel like I've not got many of them. I don't know whether I can maybe buy them off Frank eventually or what. I need to make the watermelon salad for him and then maybe I'll unlock some stuff. Because I'll have the, the house completely unlocked at that point and maybe that will trigger some things. I don't know. How, how far along I am with these uh, planters now. Have a quick look, shall we? Oh, that inventory is getting horrible now again. So, uh, no water in the desert. We've done one pipe. We've done 11 of 16. We've got two fennec foxes to help still. We need to befriend all the goats. But I think I need to, I need to go back and see the upgrade, I think. I need to be in the same area because sometimes it doesn't register if you're in a different area and it completes. It doesn't always register that it's done. So I'll need to go back to the farm probably one more time before I can start befriending the goats. But it'll be easy enough to run around and find them once uh, the area is clear, like cleaned up and cleared anyway. How dare you be hiding? Oh my goodness, it was hiding a bush behind there as well. That was super sneaky, wasn't it? I say it's super sneaky, but they do literally glow. Like there's one over there, I can see it. It's not really that sneaky, is it? More chairs for my dining room. More pipe parts. I'm doing great at finding the pipe parts. I'm not doing so great at finding the actual pipes. I'm hoping there'll be a few of them around here. Another goat friend. Yeah, so he, do he doesn't know he's got a house yet, so... But yeah, I do like the fact now that I, I think it might be part of the most recent patch, actually, that you've got the... Or, or I've just not noticed it. That you've got the, the animals' faces um, showing you which way around everything's meant to be. Ow. final recipe. I wonder how many recipes I have now. That's a sombrero. Oh, okay. Yeah, how many recipes do I have? Oh, they've made the achievements a bit more like... 
Unlock all the stamps in the category for a reward. Destroy the chonker. Destroy claim reward. I wonder what my reward was. I need to go in there and look at that again, so achievements. All the crops I've had so far, apples, blueberries, cranberries, eggplant, lettuce, olives, potatoes. I need to get like a hundred of a lot of them. So I could do with just going around and doing some harvesting of like all of these in general. Actually, things like blueberries apparently okay well that's a thing I maybe do need to start doing a bit more like harvesting of things just just for achievements so I might just do them like one at a time even or just ones that I know I haven't got the achievement on yet and just really focus down on them I'll have more of a look into that later and see if there's achievements that I want to try and aim for. And I'm going to clean this area up first. Try and do the quest lines a bit more because, uh, yeah, I've spent a lot of time in this episode organising, rotating upgrading things and it's kind of nice to also just clear an area out do some quests it's all stuff that's part of the game loop and it's all it all kind of needs to be done and uh, honestly i'm so much happier with how my animal area looks now i've done all of the upgrading but i feel like if i played another another playthrough i would definitely do the upgrades um as a priority so as soon as I got cows I'd be trying to make the cheese to get the upgrade before I got the sheep just that way I wouldn't have to have things in separate uh, areas so yeah I think what I'll do then is I'll go back I'll name all the sheep and then I'll come back I'll befriend all of the goats and then we'll name all of the goats I don't think I'm gonna name the phoenix I don't think I probably have enough uh, people on the name list for that very rare that we have more people, less people on the name list than there are like names to give. But yeah, I'm sure that cow pen's gone by now. It just doesn't know it. Aha! Pipe number two. Fill that water spot. There's definitely a lake though, like earlier on, and I I can't find a water pipe for it. But I feel like there's a maybe a puzzle somewhere with it. Because the water pipe, it should have a water pipe. Lupine seeds, okay, cool. I do need to put some more flower planters down. That's maybe something I will do next time. But I think that's that area done. Oh, look how pretty it is. Shall we go on to the next area? Let's do it. Let's do it. I like I as I say, I've done like 20 minutes worth of like just organizing at the beginning of this. So why not just go through, open up the whole of the desert area, clean up as much of it as I can, and then we'll go back to organizing the farm again a bit more next time. We've only got a couple of quests that we haven't unlocked, so as soon as I get the area clean and finished up and get all the planters in and everything and get all the pipes done, I imagine I'll be given the next little bits of quest line. Next 
next time I think I'll try and uh, do some stuff on the house as well. So it might be a bit of a farmy episode again, that, uh, that next one. But this is the third... This is the third area now. No, it's not. It's, if you include the village, it's like the fourth area, isn't it? But it's the second to last area. So after this, once I've got this all cleaned up, there's then only the sunken ruins to do. Yeah, so I'm going to need to go back and, and see as well what the what the goats, what they actually need. I don't know what they'll eat to tame them as well, so... Although, was it watermelon? It might have been. It's probably cranberries, actually. Because the, the fennec fox is like watermelon, so I bet the goats are like cranberries or something. Right. Oh, there's one over there that I didn't do. Hang on. How are we doing now? How many? How many? How many? How many have we done? Must be... Oh, hang on. That's the frozen peaks, not the desert. We must be close, right? One more. Just gotta find one more, guys. And then we would have done the planter pots. I think even if the goats are not coming to live with me, I'm still going to try and, like, free them. Because I wouldn't like to be stuck in the sand in a desert. That would be awful. So is this the last area? Let me have a look at my map. I think it is, but I think it's quite huge. It goes on for a while. I might not get this finished this episode. We'll have to see. Part of me just wants to go back and uh, check on my check on the farm again. Have I yet managed to get any olives? I have. Okay. Um, I'm wondering where to plant them. Do I go back to the farm, plant, and then to the village and plant? Oh, there's the last one. Okay, let's do this. I don't have... <clears throat> I'm missing a tree. Shrub, that's so frustrating. I'm trying to see if... I, can I see it? Yeah, it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there. Let me out. Yay, it's done. Awesome. So that is quest number one in the uh, desert finished. We're still trying to find pipes, though. So. I'm a little bit interested in where I'm going to find pipes. Uh, but I do. I kind of feel like I want to go back and, and check out and, and be able to get goats. Oh, there's my third pipe. I'm sure the fourth pipe is that last, that, that little hole I saw in the first section. I just don't know where the pipe is that goes with it. So if I finish this area and I still haven't found that, I need to go back and really look. And look up the top and just generally see if I can find it. down a button. Usually when there's timed buttons there are several of them. And that does seem to be the case here. So maybe 
Maybe there'll be a bridge or something. Okay, so we've got a panel with three lights. And an area I can't get across to, possibly. Very interesting. I feel like by the end of the episode, I just want to get this area done. I won't. I don't want to go down into the into the dip there or across there or anything. We'll do that one that little bit next episode, but we'll just finish off this bit. And then I'll feel like I've got like something semi completed. And then we'll go back. We'll, as I say, we'll quickly name the sheep before the end of the episode. And then next episode we'll move on to the goats. That's all done except for this little section down here that I, for some reason I can't get to to go through the water to get to that bit. I thought that goat was stuck for a second there, but he was just he was just sitting down pretending. Silly boy. Okay, so there's one more part there. So yeah, I'm basically going to go through the uh, the next section, and I will see if I can find uh, in there a place to put a pipe part. If not, I'm going to have to have a real good look around and see where I've missed one. So I do have a feeling I've missed one somewhere. What's this? A dam controller, dragonfly wallpaper. Yes, I, like I say, I will, I will go back, I will do some more design on the house and I will go back into the kitchen and choose some nice wallpaper for it as well. But I'm sure it does make a big difference. Okay, well I think this section is all kind of nicely completed. So, like I say, next time we'll go and have a look for pipes. A proper good look for pipes. I'll finish off the area. So we're, we've done all the way up to about there. So we've done all of this bit. So we've got this bit to do next time. Uh, we'll befriend all the goats. Any other quests I've got at the moment? Find the pipes. Befriend the desert foxes. So I've got some more watermelon for that as well. Uh, make a watermelon salad. And befriend all the goats. So befriend the foxes, befriend the goats. Find the pipes. So yeah, we'll, we'll do all of that next time. But for now, we've got this part looking pretty, pretty swell. Actually, before we go as well, let's see about this. Let's push these buttons all down. Yeah, it did. It, got, it gave us a bridge up to this section up here. So we'll tidy that up. We'll have a look around it. Um, like I say, we'll have a look for any pipes that I might have missed. And let me go back and we're going to plant some olive trees before we finish up as well. Oh, I didn't plant my strawberries. Oops. That's fine though. I'm not too worried about that. Maybe I could put some around here. 
I feel like I don't really have room for trees in this area though, so I'm gonna go to the village and we're going to, to do that there. Um, I'm gonna check out my goat pen as well just before the end and name the sheep, so I've got a few bits to do. Kind of like, where, where would be a nice place to put some olive trees around here? We've got peach trees here, which is quite nice. Cramped there, isn't it? We've got the orange trees, and then we've got another little bit up here. I think by the foxes here it might be quite a nice place to put a couple of a couple of olives. So let's put one. Oh, they're really pretty as well. Let's not overdo them. Maybe a couple outside each each person's house or something. They're really pretty and small. All the places I kind of want to put them, they, they don't really fit. But maybe one outside, one or two just outside of, um... Harold's place. It's quite nice. And there maybe, oh it's not going to fit, no! I'm trying here. I wonder, who ha I wonder, I wonder whose, I wonder whose house that is. Here might be quite nice. But that almost looks like it should be a little olive grove. We'll make it into a little olive grove, can not we? Like a few olive trees in it. I think that's perfect. We'll wait for those to grow. I'm going to go back home. And that will allow me to get the, the very last bits of stuff. Okay. So my next job, should I choose to accept it, is to go and check on the sheep. And once I've seen the upgrade, hopefully that will... Assuming the upgrade has completed itself. Uh, once I've seen the upgrade, hopefully that will allow me to uh, check on the goats and see what they need for everything. So look at their beautiful big old house there definitely a much nicer area at this point. So I'm going to name some of these uh, some of these sheeples. So we're going to have um, maple. I don't know if we've had a maple yet, but if we haven't, uh, it's not, not the end of the world if we've got double ups, to be quite honest. You're going to have an octopus hat. Look how cool that is. We're going to have um... Anna Gillum. So maybe I'll just be an Anna then. I'll give them all hats as much as possible. You can have a sombrero and you're going to be Beth F. And you're going to be Edmund. Have a mushroom hat. Um, there's one more, I'm pretty sure. Probably hiding inside. Uh, you, you. Haven't had a name yet. And you're going to be Gina. Nope, 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 nope. Gina. She love kind of type. And you're gonna also have a sombrero. And give the cows some of their uh, their hats back as well. Not that I think they ever really had hats, some of them, but uh, I like giving my animals silly hats. It's very fun. There's definitely more hats to come for uh, some of the others. Uh, I got. Pop Squeak's bunny ears still to give back. Um, I think that might be everyone. No, you do not have a hat. Alchemy Rose, there we are. 
cute little hat. So they all have the best hats in the world. They're going to be joined by their goat buddies pretty soon. Pigs are all pretty happy. Yeah, this is good stuff. I am super happy with how this is all going. I'm, I'm happy with the upgraded uh, animal pens, chicken coops, etc, etc. I probably will at some point upgrade the... Upgrade the beehives maybe a bit more or something. I'm not really sure yet on that one, whether I'll, I'll go all the way with that. I'll, I'll have a look at some of the achievements, that sort of stuff. But I think... I'm going to just recycle a bit of trash and then that is going to be it, I think we're going to be... It's already midnight in game, so... And I've already been going for 51 minutes in real time. So I think I think we've done a really good job today. We've got a whole other section now of the desert done. I think next time we can really crack on with the quest because we've done a lot of cleaning. Um, I, like I said, I've still got a pipe to find, I've still got goats. I, I, but I've looked at their house now, so they should be able to now tell me what I need to bring them to make them like me. Whether that be cranberries, whether that be something else, we shall see. But that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome. <laughs>